What's up guys, Deck Opinion here, and we're playing more of that survival game. And uh, I thought it was pretty cool, so we'll take another look at it. And um, yeah, if you guys want to check out my first look, you guys can check it out. I got in a fight with a guy. Do I win? I'm not going to tell you. Guys, go look at the video. But we're going to give this game a try. An update just came out for it, and uh, this game gets updated like all the time. It's crazy. Like, I have heard that there's like helicopters in this game now. I mean, I haven't even seen a car yet, but... I feel this game has a lot of potential, so we're going to do this let's play on it and so you guys can get more of a feel for it. Oh man, this is where I fought that guy at last time I was here. The one thing about this game though I really don't like though is the loot system. Honestly for me, there's usually never any loot whatsoever. I mean, I only played it twice. This is my second time playing it since the first time I played it, so... I'm not going to harp on it, man. I'll, I'll go into an empty server after I die in here and look around and really get a feel for it. Because I really do like this game. I really do. It runs a solid 60 frames per second on my computer. Like, I got an update for one of my cards on my computer. And my computer's really been stepping it up. I had to get it updated for Grand Theft Auto V. And so Grand Theft Auto V runs 40 to 60 frames per second depending on what I'm doing. Hello. And this game... I figured it wouldn't give me no ammo. And this game runs pretty damn good too, 60 frames per second. H1Z1 runs about 30 through 60. So I think we're getting somewhere. I love the look of this though. This game reminds me of Skyrim, to be honest. That's what it reminds me of the most. It reminds me of an Elder Scrolls game. I wish we're having a new Elder Scrolls game came out. We are actually technically, we're having Elder Scrolls Online for PS4. And if you guys are wondering, am I going to play it? Here's the deal. I'll play it under one condition. And that condition needs to be that I can import my old character and get it for $20. They have some special where you can get Elder Scrolls Online for $20 if you played it before. But I don't know if I count. Because here's the thing. I played it before, right? I played it when it first came out for one month. And then I didn't play it anymore. So if I can take that character I made, the, the Khajiit I made off that and give them $20 and get the full game on PS4, I think it's worth it. But if it's like, you can't import your Khajiit, it's gonna cost $60, then honestly, I'm not gonna touch it. I'll pay $20 to get the PS4 version and to kinda get back into it, but I definitely won't pay $60 to get back into it and start a new character. Definitely not what I'm looking into. So like, I'm a little confused about this game because I thought it was like a zombie survival game and it seems to be more about surviving maybe the wilderness and other people more than actually surviving zombies. Which I don't mind, I just think that it's boring without zombies. You know what I mean? I mean, it's a beautiful game. I'm not saying it isn't. A tree just went down, you know what that means? People. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. <laughs> if I see trees falling, I'm like, you can cut down trees in this game from what I read. Nonetheless, though, I hope you guys are enjoying this Let's Play. I don't know if you guys have been enjoying it. It's been a lot of survival stuff lately. This channel mainly fully covers just open world games in general. Whether it's H1Z1, San Andreas, a mobile game, 3D uh, cube creator. No matter what it is. We're here trying to cover it, so. I actually had an idea that I'd like start a new open world only games channel. But. Say at least I haven't done it yet. I'm trying to pinpoint an area to go to next. This map. Ow. I hate like how they scream. I was hoping to get rid of that soon. I'm wounded from that. I will eat some of this. I will just eat the chocolate bar then. Do I feel better? <laughs> you like my hat? The last character I got, if you guys were saw the last video, is a tattooed guy. And I mean, I have a sleeve and I have some tattoos on my other arm. I mean, my girlfriend has tattoos. I don't care. I just thought it was funny. Kind of fit the personality, you know? 
Man, after this though, after I die here or whatever, I'm gonna get back on my 3DS because I got so many games I'm playing on there. I'm still playing Monster Hunter a little bit. I'm taking a break from it, but I'm 70 hours in Monster Hunter. I'm 50 hours in Story of Seasons, and we're doing really good on that. I played it for like three hours yesterday. And then I'm about 15 hours into Exo Chronicle Blades, whatever it's called. The, uh, the game that only plays on 3DS, the new one. And so, I'm really trying to enjoy all that. But at this point, I'm just talking to you guys while I walk around a snowy field and basically do nothing. That's one thing. This game is $5, but it needs a lot of work. And it has been getting a lot of updates, right? But it needs updates for zombies, wolves, different player stuff, you know? And truthfully, with the way they've been updating it, I honestly think it will get there. I really do. I think I might just live here. I don't know where the door is, though. <laughs> It'd just really make my day if I found some ammo for that shotgun. I heard you, buddy. You having to fight a wolf right away isn't anything good. But that's really the only monsters I've seen in this game. So... Say at least it's a little bit disappointing. It's disappointing I can't get in here. Here it is. But I say. Alright, unfold that mattress, man. We sleep in here at night. God, everything's so bare bone in here. At least on uh H1Z1 and like day Z. Like you can find stuff so bad. I'm flying I have found a chocolate bar and lighter fluid and a flashlight. No batteries, of course. It's like the guns I keep finding. No ammo. I know the day I ever find a car if I even play this game anymore after this, because honestly, <laughs> it's kind of boring. Oh, I switch hats. I'm a cop now. But if I ever friggin' find a car, I know it's not going to work. <laughs> nice ghetto makeshift bridge there. Like, this game's full of potential, and the way the people that made it are up updating it all the time... It has it, but will it get there, is the question. I don't know where that guy went. I saw a guy for the first time in forever. I have no clue what just happened. Connect to server. So what I... I don't know what just happened, but I do know that I, for some reason, died. So, I guess that is this game in a nutshell. There's where I died. So honestly, I mean, it just spawned us both like that. See, it just spawns us both in that location, and here we are. Like, isn't that weird? So this game is really buggy, but it's only $5 on Steam, and honestly, if you can't really afford the other ones, I think it's worth it, but to be honest, I have H1Z1, I have DayZ, and they're 10 times better, and I'd much rather play them, but hey man, there's our look at survival. I think it's kind of cool, I hope you guys will check it out. Talk to you guys later in the next video, Dusk and Fly, like and subscribe.